The Harida Argyle 2 Deep Cell Technology ensures that the highest level of care is achieved, including those patients with severe damage. This product has a toughened base and securing straps. The top cover is waterproof and has pulse welded seams to prevent fluid ingress. It is also vapour permeable, which allows a high moisture vapour transfer rate, thus maximising the airflow to patient skin surface, keeping skin dry and reducing susceptibility to tissue damage. This complies with even the strictest of infection control protocols. Upon installation, it's important to ensure that the securing straps are attached to the moving parts of the bed frame. For example, the knee brake and the backrest. Never secure the straps to the outer edges of the bed frame, as this will damage the mattress and the bed. The Harida Argyle 2 is targeted towards the assistive treatment for patients who have existing and potentially severe pressure damage, and for those patients considered to be at very high risk. The product was designed for those patients at high risk in an acute setting. However, the product is well adapted for use in long-term care whether a hospital or home care setting. The 200mm high cells inflate and deflate in an alternating pattern, providing direct pressure relief throughout the dynamic process. The Harida Argyle 2 can be used for patients up to a weight of 28 stone or 180 kilograms. The Argyle 2 is constructed of a layer of 18 200mm deep cells. The product operates in a 1 in 2 cycle and takes 11 and a half minutes. Cell construction consists of three static head cells located at the head. The remaining cells alternate during the cycle. The first set will deflate for 5 minutes, providing relief. Then they will start to inflate for a minute and a half before the second set of alternating cells start to deflate for 5 minutes, offering relief completing the cycle. Upon installation, the engineer will either turn the system on, leaving it to inflate by connecting it to the power switch. Normally, the engineer will use a rapid inflator, bringing the cells up to full capacity in seconds. The Harida Argyle 2 operates with a digital pump. Switch the pump on at the power socket and press the power button on the control panel. To set the pump to operate with the patient's weight, we need to first unlock the pump. To do this, Hold down the lock unlock button for three seconds. The pump will sound a sharp beep and the blue LED light will go off once the pump is unlocked. If the patient's weight exceeds 80 kilograms, we need to increase the pressure. To do this, we need to use the firm button. Pressing this button once will increase the pressure in increments of five kilograms. To reduce the pressure, or if the patient's weight is below 80 kilograms, press the soft button. Again, this will reduce in increments of five kilograms. The pump is designed to offer ultra low pressure delivery for lightweight, frail individuals, including paediatric patients. If the pressure is too firm or insufficient for the patient, the clinician at any time can override the system by using the soft firm buttons accordingly. Pressing the static button on the pump control panel will stop the alternation cycle and both sets of cells will remain fully inflated. When the static button is actioned, you will see the top LED light and pressure monitor light illuminated. Static mode allows clinical procedures, site transfers or any other procedure to occur. If the static mode has been selected as a safety function, the system will revert back to the alternating cycle after 25 minutes. It is better to manually revert to the alternating cycle once procedures are complete, but the automatic function is there as an additional feature. The patient currently using the Argyle 2 is in the supine position. You can also see that every other cell is deflated. As I place my hand between the body and deflated cells, we can feel and see that there is sufficient clearance providing the patient with relief. The rapid cell deflation system is unique as pressure relief happens much quicker than on a standard dynamic system, offering immediate relief. The Harida Argyle 2 has a second layer of static cells underneath the alternating cells, which prevents any bottoming onto the bed frame. The second layer of cells stay fully inflated at all times, giving the patient the comfort and support they require. When the patient is sat upright for extensive periods, 
Please ensure that sufficient pressure is in the cells underneath the sacral area. If insufficient pressure is evident, then the pressure may need to be increased. A simple check can be conducted by placing the hand underneath the sacral area in the region of the deflated cell. If CPR needs to be administered, the red tag labelled CPR is located behind the third cell and a swift pull is required to achieve deflation. The system will deflate rapidly in a matter of seconds. CPR can then commence. The Harida Argyle 2 comes with a troubleshooting guide on the front panel of the pump, indicating what to do in the event of any problems, whether that be a power cut or an alarm function or inappropriate cell operation. If the system has a power cut or power is removed from the system, an alarm will sound to indicate that there is a problem. If the pump has a kettle lead, it could simply be that the cable has become detached and simply needs plugging back in. In all cases, the first check should be that the power is connected and also switched on, both on the pump panel and the main switch. If the system is depressed as low as 6 millimetres of mercury for a period of 6 minutes, the alarm will sound. If, during the course of all troubleshooting effects, you can't identify the problem, it is important to ensure that the CPR tag is fully hung and connected. It is also important ensuring the tubing on the cells is not kinked. The tubing is located on the side of the mattress where it delivers air to the cells. The tubes will be secured to the mattress by small cable ties to ensure that they do not detach. There is also a small spring at the head of the mattress where the tubing folds back on itself. This spring ensures that the tubing doesn't kink. It's essential that the mattress is cleaned on a regular basis. You will find these instructions in the user manuals. Copies can also be supplied on request. Maintenance and repair work should only be carried out by an appointed engineer who has been trained by Harida Healthcare. Only original manufacturer parts should be used in any repairs as failure could affect the warranty. In all instances, with any pressure relieving products, always ensure that you seek clinical guidance and use the product in accordance with manufacturer instructions. Thanks for watching. For further information, please feel free to contact ourselves directly.